In this video, you will learn how to remove a lead head or intercell connector while keeping the posts intact for rebuilding later. This particular battery needs one intercell connector replaced and two lead head connectors replaced. For this video, we will refer to lead heads and intercell connectors as just connectors. To remove a connector, you will need a hammer, a punch press, a motorized drill, annular shaped drill bit, drilling lubricant, and a pair of pliers. In this video, we will use Quick Cable's two flute lead head drill bit. The extra tall flute improves drilling depth in thick intercell connectors and prevents lead curl buildup. Before you begin any repairs to the battery, you must purge the cells of any hydrogen gas buildup. This is done by fanning or by using a compressed air hose. With the hose, lightly blow air into each vent with care not to splash electrolyte. When you're done with this process, place vent caps back on or cover vents with several layers of water dampened cloth. Never perform drilling with open and exposed vents. Now it's time to start the drilling process. In this step, you will need a hammer and a press punch. With the press punch, locate the center point of the connector and place it directly on top. Next, pound hammer onto press punch. This will create a starting point for the drill. Next, apply drilling lubricant to the top of each connector. Applying drilling lubricant will keep the drilling tools sharp and reduce the chance for breakage. Place drill on top of the connector. Be sure drill is directly above the connector so that it cuts straight down. This will permit the cell post to remain relatively intact for rebuilding later. Turn on the drill, making sure it's in its forward rotating position. Apply even pressure, making sure to drill only as deep as necessary to remove the connector from the post, usually 1 quarter to 3 8 of an inch. Drilling too deep could damage the cell post or even the cell cover, making the repair job bigger and costlier. Keep in mind that not all lead heads or intercell connectors have the same thickness. Once you've drilled deep enough, the connector can be removed with a set of pliers. Finish by vacuuming the lead curl using a vacuum dedicated to lead scrap. That's it! You've successfully removed an intercell connector and lead head. For more videos in our material handling series, visit quickhowto.com.